Space, it is ours for the taking. These are the missions of the Imperial Klingon cruiser Kapoop. It's never a new quest to see unclaimed worlds, to seek new species and cultures to serve us, and to further expand the Klingon Empire. Pilot, course 2-1, hack 7, graph speed 4. 2-1, hack 7, graph speed 4, my lord. I shall take my station now. Move. How dare the Empire send in the talk to show me how to run my ship. And even pay my bridge? My accomplishments speak for themselves. I have reviewed your rather suspicious list of accomplishments. The House of Barrett is spilled with spies and knaves. It is Klingon blood that flows through these veins, and it is the wisdom of the Emperor to employ the tactical knowledge gleaned by our worthy opponents into our military fleet. You speak as a fool. These words come from the Emperor himself, who has lost five Katinga-class battlecruisers in three months. One to a Federation garbage scow, another in the Empire's own territory. Perhaps your opinion would be of interest to the Emperor. They died in battle. With honor! We are Klingon but Klingons that have come far too complacent with dying in battle. With honor, while our opponents rejoice in victory. Station. Yes, my lord. My lord, we have reached our destination. Begin standard search patterns. Sensors indicate a large energy mass directly in our path. Bring it up on the view screen. Ready photon torpedoes, ray shields, and target that mass. Just cho cho we. Intelligence reports that our Klingon brethren fired on first contact and were immediately destroyed. You would have me invite them for blood wine? No, my lord. But consider we know. Our weapons have no effect on this enemy, and this enemy has the ability to respond to the total destruction of the Kupak. These are facts. I merely suggest that it is their turn to reveal their hand and possibly expose a weakness. You have courage. Open communication channels. Communication channels open. Full spectrum. This is Captain Cash of the Imperial Battlecruiser Kapuk. State your intentions and prepare to be boarded. Enough of this! Target lock! Torpedoes locked on target, my lord. My lord! Look! Forward shield to maximum! Damage control report! The main reactor is venting plasma. It will have to be taken offline to repair the damage, my lord. I need power restored right now, not one top layer! It will be done, my lord. The enemy orb is gone, my lord. Kapla! 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 My lord, look! 
What is that thing doing on my ship? Get that thing off my ship! That won't be necessary, Captain. You have lost your way, my children. And you were not invited aboard my ship! Idiot. What betrayal is this? We have learned another fact, my lord. With each action, this creature responds with an equal and opposite reaction. My creation have become corrupted. My children are lost. Children? Who are you to be calling us your children? I am Pinchal, master of the heavens and creator of Key 2, and placed upon it the greatest creation the universe has ever known. A pair of Klingon hearts. Honor and wisdom. Strength and need. Courage and fear. Klingons are without fear, creature. Wisdom, strength, and fear have become corrupted. Arise and look into my soul. Courage without fear. Strength without need. And wisdom without honor. All of these will be overcome. The data have done quite well overcoming my foes. Behold. And there came a time outside Keenlot that a great storm approached the city. The citizens were afraid and they took shelter. We know the legend, and now you claim to be the man to face the storm? No, for I was the storm. You're a meddling creature, an alien life form. Give me my weapons, creature. Face me in battle! My lord, what are you doing? Would you stand alone against this storm? Do not propose to take the role of Cadence himself. With me! My lord, is it not the unforgettable who at Quinlot asked the man who stood against the storm, Pinchel, what he was doing? It was. And the man said to Kalos, I will not hide my face behind stone or mortar. I will stand before the storm and make it respect me. Do you hear me, creature? I do not fear you! Courage without fear, but strength without need. Dahar, Master Kang said that only fools fight in a burning house. I see no flames. I only see the storm. The storm that can kill just as easily. Come, my lord, to the city in safety. Wisdom without honor. What honor is it to simply die without a battle in our hands? Why do you not do as Kalis did, bro? Honor the choice I make. Go into the city. I will put you on. I will not. Do you hear me, creature? I am Klingon. I will not. Leave me. The warrior's greatest opponent is not without, it is within. Courage without fear, strength, and the need for brotherhood found. Wisdom, but with honor. Honor to stand with your brother against the storm, honoring his choice. At Kinlot, Kalas offered to stand with the man against me. He understood, but the man did not understand. You have learned the lesson. I am pleased, my children. Time to go, brother.
How long have we been gone? Pichol, you and Kroll were only gone a tup, my lord, and then you reappeared before us. I await your orders. Set a course for Pernos. Graph Factor 7. I think it best not to speak of this creature. I saw a great warrior overcome fear and defeat it. We spent the lifetime on another world without the passage of time itself. Shall we consider this the deed of anything lesser than a god? You report to the Emperor. The Emperor will hear about Kesha's honor. Honor? <laughs> Perhaps they will learn of Kral's wisdom, eh? What are we running here, Kral? A garbage cow? Move us on to our next target. On to our next victory. Come on, Joe. Leave. 